Hello guys, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of ServiceNow Basics, today we are discussing dictionary override. So this concept of dictionary override will come into picture when we have a parent child relationship in tables. That is the parent table and the child table, which we have seen lately in incident and task table. So let's go to the instance right away. This is our instance. Let's open incident table. So this is the incident table as you know that because this incident table is the extending task table many of the fields belongs to task table so let's see one of the fields that is short description if you see the show here right click click on show you can see all the basic things here that is the field name and the table the table is task table but we are seeing it on incident table so the field is behaving properly it is working fine here but in case you want to tweak certain functionalities of this field, let's say you don't want the field to be mandatory on incident table. That is only on incident table. Mark my words, not on the task table or the other tables where the field is being used. Okay. So in order to do so, the concept of dictionary override comes into picture. The same is being conveyed by these two words. That is dictionary override. It means you are overriding certain dictionary attributes. Okay. So let's go to the dictionary of this field that is right click configure dictionary so you see here the field belongs to task table this is the short description this is the name everything is everything is good you don't want to make any change here okay because if you click here it will be applicable to all okay so at the bottom you see dictionary override this is the dictionary override related list and various tables are there which are using this concept of dictionary override so let's click on new so you see here the base table this is the task table and the column name is short description let's select a table where you want to make changes okay that is incident table select incident table and here you see all the override options total eight options are there okay so let's say you want to make change in the reference qualifier but uh, this is not a reference field so it's not so it is of no use you want to make change in the dependent you want to override certain attributes you want to override the default value so let's say we want to override the default value okay click on it and let's give some default value please provide incident dot description okay so what I am doing here, I am overriding the default value of short description table only for incident table, not for all the tables which are extending this task table or even the task table. Okay. So if you want to override mandatory, you can do so. Okay. If you want to override uh, read only, you can do so. Let's say, uh, let's make this field read only. Okay. I am overriding two things, default value and read only. Click on submit. So let's open two tables which are extending task table. So let's say first one is incident. Okay. Second is change. Open change. Okay. So let's go to the incident table. Here you see. So if you remember, we have overrided two things. First one is read only. So it is read only here in incident. And second thing is the default value so you see the same text of default value let's see if the same is available for change request or not change table or not click on new let's say click on normal so you see here there is no change at all okay the changes the dictionary override which we have created is now working for incident only because we have opted for incident table only okay no other child table is impacted by the dictionary override thing because we have carefully drafted it for incident table only so friends i think you got it now so in case in future if you have certain requirement where you want to use the field from parent but you want to make certain tweaks in that case dictionary override will be your thing so i hope you got it please subscribe to the channel and like the video share it with your friends any questions let us know in the comment section bye bye take care